Personal relationships and work relationships are a lot more similar than we give them credit for. Now, a lot of times we save the worst of ourselves for our family. You know, we don't ask our employees to, you know, let me know if there's something in my teeth. Usually, some people do, but, um, but we do still have to treat both parties with respect. So the Greeks had this concept of agape love, and essentially it's not a loving feeling, but it's more of a loving behavior. So we treat each other with kindness at all times. We treat each person with the respect they deserve as a human being. So if you have a spouse or children, you're not going to hopefully scream at them for everything that they, every small thing that they do. You'll ask them respectfully to change what they're doing or respectfully to do better at something. And we need to use that same concept with not just our employees, but with everybody else. The more we can treat people with kindness and respect at all times, the happier our lives lives are because we're not so stressed out from yelling at people all the time, but the happier our employees are because they're being treated with kindness and respect and they're given the opportunity to make improvements, the happier the people are, you know, when we go grocery shopping, the people at the store, when we're kind and respectful to them, the better they treat us as well. And when we treat our employees with agape love, so again, respect and kindness and trust, they then in turn treat their other teammates with the same level of respect and trust and kindness and then they will also treat the clients with that as well, which increases client happiness and decreases client complaints. And so if we take that one little thing from our personal relationships and put that into our work life, it can make a huge difference in our happiness.